Hi, I'm Keith Aleo, Director of Education and Orchestral Activities with the Zildjian Company. Welcome to this year's SCORE Magazine, and this video is going to be about some new instruments and products we're releasing. First, we're going to talk about the Zildjian new professional level Crotales. And this has been years of research to produce this instrument, and we're here with Neil Grover, who's going to tell us a little bit about some of the features. So Neil, tell us a little bit about the R&D process, and, and what are some of the new features with these Crotales? Sure, Keith. Well, as we know, crotalics have been around for centuries, actually going back to biblical times. And there has been very little modification in the size and dimensions of the crotalics over many years. So Craig Zildjian came to our team and asked us to look at it and see if there were any ways in which we can improve the sound of the crotalics. So we looked at it, we questioned things, we went back to the drawing board, and we evaluated uh, some of the properties of crotalics and came up with some ideas. One of the first concepts we had involved the hub, or the bell, of the crotali. As you know, cymbals, as they get smaller in size, have graduated bells. The bells get smaller. Well, the crotalis had the same size bell throughout the range. So we came up with this concept of a graduated hub size. So we did some R&D, we made some prototypes, and what we learned is that as the hub got smaller in the higher crotales, the sound opened up and the resonance increased. And as you know, Keith, one of the complaints about crotales for many years has been that the low octave rings a lot and the higher octave doesn't sustain as long. Right. This helped the sustain at the top to match the bottom. And as you'll hear later, the sustain has really been enhanced by this graduated bell concept. Okay. Tell us a little bit more about some of the features. Um, I know there's some nice laser engraving that looks wonderful. Tell us a little bit about that. Right. Well, for years, Zildjian uh, stamped their logo and note name into the crotales using a metal stamp. And this distorted the metal slightly and, and we felt could be improved. So by the use of laser technology, Zildjian now engraves their logo and the note name and number designation for octave on both sides of the crotales. And this is important, Keith, because as you know, some people like to mount the crotales hub side down and some prefer to mount them hub side up. So either way of mounting, you'll now see what note size it is. Playing. Right, right. And I, I had the, sometimes I'll take a few notes off and carry them in my stick case. And I oftentimes I'm digging through my stick case trying to figure out what note is what. So it's nice that the, that the note name is on both sides. And there's one other feature, which can you tell us a little bit about that? The sound is, very, is incredibly improved and we're going to hear some of these in a few minutes. But tell us, tell us a little bit about the sort of uh, process that they go through now? Well, I can't say too much about it, Keith, but I can tell you that there's a proprietary process that Zildjian uses now on the professional level crotales to even out the sound of the crotales as they go up in the range. Right. So what happened is, in the standard set of crotales, the notes, although sounding similar, have small variations in sonic characteristics. And what we thought we'd do is try and even that out the way a keyboard instrument like a vibraphone would have an evenness of sound across the octaves. And this new process achieved that goal. Right. So the, the, the sets are sonically matched low octave, sonically matched high octave, and sonically matched both octaves together. So uh, we're going to listen to some of these and, and uh, get an idea of the wonderful sound, especially in the high octave. Thank you. We decided to tune the professional level Crotales to A442 after interviewing orchestras in Europe, the US, and worldwide, most of them tuned to A442. Also, Zildjian has redesigned the Crotale bar or the bar that the mounts the crotales. The first feature is that it has a dual mounting system that will go into any manufacturer's cymbal stand. They have two pipes come in out of the bottom of the bar. It's nice and sturdy. Second, it's simply stronger. And you'll notice it'll be more durable if you're carrying it with stands or if it's banged around a little bit, it'll definitely be more sturdy. Another feature that's quite nice is that uh, when the low octave and the high octave are put side by side, in the past you would have two middle C's. 
Well now, with a system of a removable thumb screw, you can remove the high C of the low octave. So when you put them side by side, you go right from B to C, and you don't have those, those two Cs. If you want to stack the crotales, you can simply put the high C back on with the thumb screw again, put it back in, and you're all set to play them side by side. Another feature is that there's no more wing nuts. In the past, wing nuts would get in the way. They were made out of metal. Oftentimes, they would buzz. What Zildjian came up with is a thumb screw. And the thumb screw is made out of nylon. And it holds down the crotale with a rubber washer. And below the crotale, there's a permanently mounted washer with rubber on it. So really, now there's only two parts that are loose. And you put your washer back on, and the nylon thumb screw, and you're set to go. So I hope you enjoy the new Zildjian Kurtali bars. So let's talk a little bit about the new Zildjian Kurtali bag. As you can see, it's bigger than the old ones for added protection. Has egg crate foam, and the Kurtalis drop into foam with two slots for the bottom of the bar. And you lift them out. This happens to be the low set of Kurtalis. And one bag fits either the high octave, or in that case, the low octave. If you're going to go with the high octave, you simply put in these foam inserts, and you're all set to go for the high octave. Another new accessory from Zildjian is the Zildjian Philharmonic Strap. This was designed in conjunction with Thomas, or Buddy, Hoffs of the Stuttgart State Opera. And Buddy came up with a wonderful system where we cover a rubber insert with chamois and then attach it to webbing. And the features about this is basically the feel. It feels wonderful. It also provides for a greater sustain in the cymbal and more control for the player. You can also use it to suspend cymbals with this loop here. I'd like to talk to you about the new Zildjian cymbal handle. The new handle is made of synthetic leather and is very comfortable to grip thanks to a padded insert inside the handle. Like a standard cymbal strap, it has four ears and you use a standard cymbal knot to tie it onto the cymbal. If you're not familiar with the standard cymbal knot, you can find instructions on this website. The new Zildjian cymbal handle also comes with a new reduced diameter pad. The reduced diameter pad allows the cymbal to vibrate a little more freely than the older large pads while still protecting your hands from damage or wear.